Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial of software engineering on cyclometric complexity. So let us have a look at the definition. It is a software metric to measure the complexity of a program. So as the name suggests, cyclometric complexity is used to determine the complexity of a program. Basically it is termed as efficiency of a program. And how can we calculate it? There is a given formula for this cyclometric complexity. Vg equal to E minus N plus 2 star P where E denotes the number of edges, N denotes the number of nodes, P denotes the number of nodes that have exit points. Basically, these are the independent nodes that, are, that does not have any further nodes. For example, 4 tends to 5. This 5 doesn't have any further node. So this is an independent node. P is also known as predicate node. And the formula of determining cyclometric complexity is this. Vg equal to R. Where R stands for number of regions in our control flow graph. You will get to know the num how to calculate the number of regions. So I hope you have a bas basic understanding of cyclometric complexity. Now let us look at some examples. This is a basic C example. I have numbered each step of this program from 1 to 6. And from this numbering I have drawn the control flow graph here. So we will start with the first number which is a while loop. While loop starts from 1 here. If the condition in the while loop is true, then it will go to the second step. And if the second condition is also true, it will go to the third step. If it is false, then it will go to the else statement to the fourth step. And then it will return it. It will then return to 1 according to the program and repeat the while loop. If the condition for the while loop is wrong, it will directly come to the sixth step. So from this control flow graph, we can easily calculate the cyclometric complexity from this formula E minus N plus 2 star P. So we can calculate the number of edges as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So there are 7 edges and number of nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 7 minus 6 plus 2 which is 3. This is the cyclometric complexity of this example. So we already talked about the second formula of determining the cyclometric complexity here which is the number of regions. So we can calculate the regions as this is the first region enclosed within 2, 3, 5 and 4 R1. This is the second region and this is the third region which is com the complete region. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 there are 3 regions which is also the cyclometric complexity of this example. So now let us have a look at second example. This is also a control flow graph given. By the same formula we can calculate the cyclometric complexity. Give it a try. So calculate the number of edges as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we have 9 edges and the number of nodes as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 6 nodes and P is 1, this one because it is an independent node, it does not have any further node that it denotes. So by calculating this we, can, we will have the answer as 5 and through the number of regions formula there is a number, number 1 region, number 2 region, number 3, number 4 and number 5. There are 5 regions in this total. So we have cyclometric complexity as 5. So but by this technique you can calculate the cyclometric complexity of any program given to you. So there are also some points to remember in this concept which are these. The higher the number of cyclometric complexity the more complex the code will be. For example if Vg greater than 10 then your code is not at all good and is hard to understand. So 
for a better code to write a better code and an efficient code you must ensure that the cyclometric complexity of that code should be minimum as minimum as possible or you just have to try to eliminate that cyclometric complexity second point the cyclometric complexity also indicates the number of test cases that would have to be written to execute all the parts in a program so you can determine all the test cases based on its cyclometric complexity i hope now you have a basic understanding of cyclometric complexity and you will be able to calculate the cyclometric complexity of an example thanks for watching this video you can give your feedback in the comment section and i request you to subscribe my channel for further videos thank you so much